Welcome everybody, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to assemble the Bioptron Pro 1 floor stand and how to operate it. My name is William and I distribute Bioptron through Australia and New Zealand and I also run the Bryland Integrative Functional Medicine Centres and for, well since 2010 we've been using Bioptron extensively in our clinics. Now the reason I want to make this video is because I'm always conscious of uh, looking after equipment and just the other day we broke the base of our Bioptron unit. Now what actually happened is we've just had a baby by the way and at the baby changing table we have the Bioptron as our source of light. So at three in the morning we, we turn the Bioptron on, that's our source of light, but it also helps minimize baby rash, the nappy rash. And anyway, my poor wife, probably three in the morning, tired as anything, she went and she pulled the Bioptron down to adjust it, but she never actually loosened the stand first and she put so much pressure on it that she actually broke it. Now I know of one other client who have done, has done this as well, so what it really means is that it's important to make sure that you loosen the stand before you make any adjustments and I personally think that you should be pushing and pulling on the other end of the arm as demonstrated so that you reduce the stress here. Now look, to be quite honest, I'm still surprised this thing's going. It's been used for thousands of hours. I've taken it around the world with me. It's fallen downstairs. It's been knocked off and fallen onto the concrete. Um, and it's been very, very faithful. And so, you know, it breaking after all this time is probably not so, such a bad thing, but of course, it was through user error that is the reason why it broke. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? So it's best to lay all the parts out on the floor. And now let's put the legs together as demonstrated. Now it's time to screw the bolts on the base of the wheels and then the four wheels are screwed on underneath the legs as so. Turn the legs over and attach the main shaft. The main shaft has a base plate and you just simply attach the four bolts securely. Now attach this knob here which allows you to adjust the height of the shaft. Now it's time to attach the Bioptron head to the stand and screw it in with the knob to secure. As I said at the beginning, always lift or pull using the opposite end of the arm and remember to loosen anything before adjusting. You can see the Bioptron is designed to be adjusted for many positions. Here is a small knob that enables you to adjust the length of the arm if you needed the Bioptron to reach further. Of course, don't forget to plug it in. Thread the cable through this hole here and it simply just plugs in. You can tidy the cable by using this method, but make sure you allow enough cable near the head if in case you want to make adjustments in the future. This is what the table stand looks like by the way. The table stand is nice and solid and has many positions and many adjustments. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful. Please uh, leave me a comment in the description with some feedback and use our links if you want to learn more about Bioptron. Of course, Using Bioptron for so many years, I've become to love the product really well and I'm continually making educational videos on how to use it. Thank you for watching.